Now, in today's Staying Healthy report, more than half of all people with high blood pressure don't have it under control, and almost 40% don't even know they have a problem. These new numbers are frightening because the condition can lead to heart attack and stroke. And joining us now is Dr. Diane McAllister. You know her. She's Chief Medical Officer at Centura's Porter Adventist Hospital. She's here to talk about this and these new findings, which are pretty surprising, doctor. It is surprising, but it really sheds light on a huge health problem that's going, been going on for a long time. And the problem with high blood pressure is that when you have it, there are often no symptoms. So a lot of people are just not aware that they have it, hence the 40 percent. And as bad as heart attack and stroke are, as frightening as they can be in a diagnosis, the potential problems aren't just limited to these. Oh, no, not at all. Um, high blood pressure can cause um, thickening of the arteries or even aneurysms. And in addition to heart attack, which you're three times more likely to have, and stroke, which you're four times more likely to have with high blood pressure, you can also get peripheral vascular disease. And it can cause memory problems, eye problems, impotence, and... Um, problems with your kidneys. So a lot of different organs are affected. Sounds like it runs the gamut. How does high blood pressure cause these problems? Well, if you think about it, a stream and it's running gently, it um, doesn't erode the bank as much as when it's running with a lot of pressure. The same thing is true of your blood vessels. When the blood pressure is high, the um, blood um, hits the vessel walls and they either expand or they can um, cause aneurysms. And what is this uncontrolled blood pressure? What's considered uncontrolled? Well, for the purposes of this study, any blood pressure over 140 over 90 was considered uncontrolled. Normal blood pressure is considered to be 120 over 80 or below. Mm, all right. So why are people not taking their medications if it's a, you know, a simple fix? Why are folks not doing it? Well, as as we mentioned, you know, blood, high blood pressure initially does not have any symptoms. And a lot of blood pressure medications have side effects that people don't like. Mm. Fortunately, there's a lot of different types of blood pressure medication. So how would you know if maybe you should just simply get your medication adjusted? Well, it's important for people to be going and having their blood pressure checked every time they see a physician. And then really you should be going and checking it at the grocery store or having one of those home blood pressure cuffs to check it. And again, if it's over 120 over 80, you should be talking to your physician. All right, just jot down that number, 120 over 80. And certainly know about 140 over 90. Oh, yeah, that, you don't want to go really there. Help. <laughs> All right, thank you, Dr. Diane McAllister. And you can go to our web our website, thedenverchannel.com, of course, and click on Staying Healthy. That's where you'll find Dr. Diane McAllister's weekly advice. Just scroll down until you find her special section.